The mayor of it in the social media, in the electronic media, in the print media, all kinds of things. I just want to say clearly that what I believe in and what I consider to stand for is equity, justice, and fairness. It doesn't matter whose interest is involved. What we're talking about today, we're not talking about a presidential candidate. The primaries have come and gone. We're not talking about the vice presidential candidate. The candidate of the party has made his choice and which everybody has accepted. And therefore, that is not the issue today. The issue as it is today is, and as it is provided in our constitution of the party, section 73C, makes it clear that there shall, not that there may, there shall be zoning of party offices and elective offices. Very clear, it was not, uh, it's not ambiguous, it's not ambiguous, it is made clear that this is what is supposed to be, or what should be, be what should be done. We have had our primaries, and the president can be have emerged. But before the president can be emerged, there was the issue of where would the chairmanship go to? Because in our party, the chairman come from either the south, and the president can't come from the north. Or the president can come from the south, and the chairman will go to the north. The intention of the founding fathers was that to allow for inclusivity, for everybody to participate in the hierarchy of decision making of the party. Because as it is today, there is Major persons are those who take the decision of the party. One is the national chairman, one is the presidential candidate, or the president, and if you are in power. And then the, uh, the DG of the campaign. These are three key positions that oversee the runnings of the party and major decisions being made on how the party will move uh, forward. Now, we, from the south, before now, we had met and said, look, the presidency must come to the south. And you have opportunity to challenge me. I will name. I will name. I said, I will name. I told I was going to speak. I'm not speaking today. I, we're not even going to that moral, but even though some of the governors can tell you, would he deny the fact that he did not collect one billion dollars from uh, Lagos? From Lagos. Yes. Who in Lagos? I would, would let him deny. I would tell him who gave him the money. Lagos. Yeah. Lagos. Not in Lagos, the government or the man. I'm talking about Lagos the money was given Lagos. to him in Lagos. Yes. For what purpose? He met one of the presidential aspirants and told him that he's not sure this governor may want to sponsor the party. Let Ayu say no. I will even call some of the businessmen. I had the money was arranged in Lagos. That money did not enter to the account of PDP. But we're not attacking Ayu on that basis. We are attacking Ayu. This is what we are talking about. We are five governors. Governor Fatanara, who is the governor of the presidential candidate. Governor Otto, Governor Shaima Kende, Governor Luke uh, uh, Ibas, and my husband, five of us. Senator Makawoku was one who was taking record. The presidential candidate told us, in truth, that he has confronted Ayu on this statement. And Ayu said, yes, he said so. And I thought, what do we do? We said, sir, we're all here. 
You follow what they said to win the selection. You didn't pay my flat money to this plane. Why would I spend money to come to uh, uh, London to hold anything? Why would I spend such money? But because of the commitment, because we believe this party has to win the election, everything must be done. Sacrifices must be made in order for us to win the election. We said that. And he agreed with us that IU has to win. And what was remaining? He now said, we should give him one week. Let's go work at the modalities of IU. Let Governor Fintri, who is the governor of Adamawa, let him tell Nigerians it is not correct. Let Governor Shea tell Nigerians it is not correct. Let Governor Houghton tell Nigerians it is not correct. Let Governor Ibazi tell Nigerians it is not correct. This is what we are created. For us to have peace, let's move on.